Hey everybody, uh, back to the Rebel Chon channel. This guy just ate spicy noodles, so he burned his mouth. Um, today I want to quickly talk about the Planet Eclipse Ego 9 that I recently purchased of a friend of mine. I purchased it for roughly 150 US dollar. Um, it needed work. It was leaking at the solenoid. It had a bent rammer. Um, some other O-rings were um, damaged, slashed and whatnot. So I replaced all of that, spent around 60 bucks into this marker and it's fully up and running now. Um, I shot a couple of rounds with it last weekend and um, yeah, it shoots really, really nice. It's a really nice slim marker. It shoots like an ego, so it's a bit loud. It's a bit clacky, cack, 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 cack. Um, but it was a joy to shoot. Um, but I decided to let go of this marker, so I just sold it to somebody in the USA who is gonna probably strip it for parts and sell it for parts or um, resell it again in the USA or whatnot. But it's a really nice uh, marker, as you can see. Um, so unfortunately, um, what, what was quite common uh, in 2006, 7, 8, 9, uh, with people that owned egos, is to swap uh, the upper frames and the lower frames. So, this is upper frame, this whole body is of a 2009 ego. The lower portion, the trigger frame, is of a 2010 ego. So, it doesn't have like that pronounced, like sharp corner that the ego 9 and before had. Um, but still, really cool marker, very slim, lightweight shoot ropes shoot fast um yeah the reason why i sold it as well is because um, these parts are harder to come by like the rammer was easy the o-rings were easy but if the solenoid breaks or the board breaks, <coughs> excuse me i'm kind of sick again um if those break i have to replace them with um, a second hand one that is probably uh, a solenoid easily can cost you 100 bucks the board i don't know 50 60 70 us dollar i don't know what the, what the board goes for but they're not cheap. So re rebuilding those parts on this marker will not be cheap. Um, the detents were easy, etc. The pilot valve, if that one breaks on this one, uh, which sits, I believe, yeah, it sits in the regulator. Um, if that little, yeah, it's not a wing, it's something that's stuffed inside the pilot valve itself. Is that worn out? You have to buy a new one. Um, those are not easier, not so easy to get anymore. Um, because all these parts are not being made anymore by being planned clip. So I was kind of like, yeah, um, test it out, make sure it shoots fine, enjoy that experience of rebuilding a marker, shooting with it for a while, and then um, let go of it and then get something else instead. So and what I get instead is another um, uh, Empire X Pro that I showed you in the previous video, the red one, um, a different one, because I really want to shoot an X Pro. Um, so I'm gonna get that one and I'm still in a PayPal dispute about the red um, Empire X Pro. Um, and that's it. And then maybe get another marker and another marker and another marker and then just test out all these old school markers, buy them on the cheap, test them out, rebuild them if needed, um, and then sell them off again after doing some testing and shooting with it and playing some games with it. Uh, and just experience those old markers for on the cheap. And uh, my main marker will be still my Planet Eclipse um, ETA 3 um, and maybe if I recoup some of this money I also will buy a uh, Planet Eclipse ETA 3M the mechanical version so I have two killer markers that are just always work and then have some a couple of older ones that are just for fun and giggles and just you know, doing some tinkering and whatnot and have fun with that because I think that's a part of the the hobby as well that um, is kind of unappreciated because well, paintball playing the paintball itself is quite expensive um, and it's mostly reserved for the Sundays for me uh, because in where I live in my country uh, paintball only really exists on the Sundays um, as a hobby uh, there's nothing during the week there's no indoor venues and whatnot so there's none of that so the whole country right we don't have that so that kind of shit but it is what it is it's a Sunday's hobby so to fill out my time till that Sunday you know it's kind of cool to have like something like this to tinker on them fix them and test them and then well at some point later my off again so i'm not going to make all these shooting videos because it's just taking too much time every time I go to a payment field film it um and then i don't know um doing that stuff so i just leave it as is i'm just doing a quick rundown of the market that i received and you know, kind of document for myself how i felt it shoot and, and whatnot um but um, yeah, the verdict was for me, 
Um, it shoots nice, but it's kind of rudimentary. It shoots a bit harsh and it's kind of like a loud as a cannon. And um, I kind of over my nostalgia for egos, to be frank. They're really cool markers, easy to maintain and whatnot, but it's just, I don't know, modern spool markers or even the inline puppet valve markers from the late 2010s. Um, just shoot nicer, softer, um, easier to maintain, parts readily available still. So but yeah, still cool. So that was my uh, little overview of the 2009 Ego. Um, yeah, I'm probably not gonna really regret letting this go, but it will be a marker that is definitely gonna be on my mind for a long time. Like, oh yeah, that was a cool marker. Looked really clean, really slim, beautiful milling, etc., etc. But yeah, just um, I don't know, it's just okay to let go like these kind of things. So thank you for watching. See you next video. Bye.